In today's video, we are going to learn how you can design a custom flyer like this using Canva. Okay, so if you have the paid version of Canva or you are using the free version of Canva, you can still follow along with the tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I make this tutorial as brief as possible. Okay, so without any intro, let's dive right into the tutorials. So when you launch your Canva application, come to create design. So you create the design. So the dimension you are going to use for this flyer is going to be 1080 by 1280. Just click on create and then you are going to get a dimension like this that you are going to use to do our design. Okay. But for things to be easy for me so that I can follow along the tutorial accurately, I'm going to just add a page over here and I'm going to use that one to design this flyer for you guys. Okay, it's the same size though. So the first thing we are going to do here is to work on our background first, then after that we work on this design, then we continue. Okay. So um so you click on elements over here and then we search for white background. Okay, we are going to use it to do our background so on photos click on more you are going to get a lot of backgrounds over here all right so you can select any of the white backgrounds you see over here okay so i'm going to find one that i'm going to use so i want to select this white background oh no let me select this one rather good so this is my white background over here so the next thing we are going to do here is to work on these designs over here all right so under element let's search for frame okay search for frame click on it click on all good so when you search for the frame click on all and then you are looking for these frames over here so click on see all okay so the frames you are looking for is here so you are looking for the alphabetical frames okay all right so you are looking for this kind of frames all right so we are going to look for sunday all right so we are going to use for s s adding our s frame like this we are going to use for s u our s is here our u is here s u n all right so i'm done arranging my sunday frames like this as you can see on the screen so the next thing we wanted to do here is to fill in these frames with this design you are seeing over here okay so how are you going to do this you're going to use an image to fill into the frame so i'm going to use an image like this okay all right so i'll i'll find a way to put this image under the video description a link so that you can download it but another way you can also use this image is by screenshotting it okay you can screenshot it and then you go to google all right when you're on google you're going to use the google lens to search for this image so just click on it like this just click on this small camera icon over here and then let me bring this image over here this is the image let me bring it here like this and then let's google search for the image for us okay so you can see that the image has been found over here all right so this is another way that you can find you can use to search for this image on the internet without me sending it to you so for you to upload the image into your canva application you click on this uploads over here then you go to upload over here and then you select the image you select the image then you upload it okay so since i have it here already there's no need for me to bring it again so i have it here already so let me click on it like it then we have the image right on our canva application so the first thing we are going to do we are going to start from the uh, uh, this from the y we are going to fill in from the y to the s okay so the f so what we are going to do is we just to scale the image like this scale the image to fit the text like this okay take it like this. so the first thing we are going to do is to 
after you've done like just move the image to the y okay when you move the image to the y just drag it and then you see that the y will show that it scaled into it so after it has scaled into it like it just double click on it and it's going to give you the chance for it to scale so just scale it around it like this but let's scale it to cover this so you want this part so we want to start with this part over here so we want to start with a part like this okay so we want to we want the y to cover this part here like this can you see the white symbol so we want the y to start with something like this okay like this all right so we want this part to be in our y okay so go to your uploads again go to your uploads and again and then click on the image bring it again and then let's drag it and then leave it here double click inside drag it like this for it to fit in nicely so we want uh, this part to be to be in the image so we want something like this so maybe we want something like this to be in the image okay good we want something like this so click inside it bring it again leave it double click scale it and then make sure that it fit in like nicely like this so you want something like this all right so we are done filling these images into this individual text frames okay so the next thing we wanted to do here is to put these designs over here on it and then we proceed okay click on the image we use initially bring it back like this okay when you click on this image like this and then you click on background remover okay this background remover you are seeing is a pro feature so if you are using the free version you won't be able to remove the background okay so for you to remove the background for free you can use a website like tinywow tinywow.com you click on images background remover upload the image and then it's going to remove the background as you can see over here nicely for you okay so that is how come you can remove the background okay so let me click on background remover over here for canva to do the magic for me okay all right so canva have removed the background on this image leaving this okay so what we wanted to do here let me see so what we wanted to do here is to bring this bring these two hands here and then the bible and then this okay so we are going to scale our image to do that for us okay so the first thing we wanted to do we want to, we want to duplicate this image like four times one two we hold the you hold the alt key and then you drag it's going to duplicate it for you three four okay so this is our duplicate images okay let me just drag them here like this okay so the first thing we are going to do is to resize this image okay so we are going to resize the image like this okay we are going to resize this image like this okay we are going to resize the image like this okay then we we'll bring it over here like this as you can see in the frame we we'll bring it down like this we we'll bring it down like this let's frame let's resize it well more of this side to come in so we are going to resize it like this okay make adjust it so that it fits into the the text box exactly good so we want something like this all right so this part we are done with this part and then you go to here so the next thing we are going to do we want so the next thing we wanted to do here we want this hand to show okay so let's resize here up to here we want this hand to show then resize this part as well so let's resize it like this okay 
the one they have to show over here so make sure that it fits into the text frame exactly okay great so the next thing so the next thing we are looking for is to the third hand this one should show so let's resize this hand here let me resize this hand here like this this long hand okay let's resize it a little more let's resize it a little more here so let's bring it here okay let's resize it and bring it here a little bit we have this hand over here nicely like this so we are working still so the next thing we wanted to do is to get this bible the first part of the bible like this okay let's get the bible first part of the hand holding the bible here okay like this okay okay good I want to get it holding the bible like this great let me duplicate this i have to use the one uh, good i have to use the one i remove the background okay so let me make sure that this hand is gone it will be like the bible is showing me like this good okay does it look similar to what we did over here yeah i think so so we are done designing our frames okay we are done designing our frames so what we wanted to do here is to bring the, the text what we wanted to do is to bring this logo over here so bring any logo of your choice okay bring your church logo and place this logo over here and then let me bring this service text copy and paste it paste it here okay there's the service and then the font i use is this one over here you can see at the top over here so if you want to use the same font family that's the name of the font okay so let's place it nicely over here like this and then let's look for this text the text everyone can do it that's what i'm copying is so that we know waste time copy it like this and then paste the text here as well good so you've done the text and distance nicely here like this so i can just oh, okay so right now i can just highlight all this by just dragging them oh, this background is not allowing me you can just press on shift to highlight everything here okay you can press on shift to highlight everything here and then you group them okay so that you can move them together so that you can move them together so let me move it a little bit to the top and then let me bring this one here like this then let me bring this one here like this okay so this is taking shape all right it's taking shape okay so let me bring this text here as well let me just press shift to copy them here let me even group them so that it will be easy let me just copy them and then you paste them here okay so the next thing we want to work on is to bring this here all right bring this picture over here nathaniel bassi remove the background okay and then let's reduce the opacity so click on this transparent let's reduce it down 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 to somewhere 10 and then let's leave it here like this okay let's leave it here like this okay uh, so let's work on these images all right so what we are going to do here is to go to element search frame okay 
search for the frame and so we are going to look for these frames over here we are going to look for a particular frame over here good so we are going to use this frame okay we are going to use this frame to do the image designs okay so this is a frame we are going to use so let me scale it down nicely here like this so go to your uploads over here and then the images you want to use for your design just go for them the first image i wanted to use is go is to go for uh, let me search for it nathaniel bassi nathaniel bassi okay this image over here let's just click on this image over here and then go to background remover okay drag it into the frame double click inside the frame and then bring it down like this and then let's crop it bring it down like this make sure the head is showing and then just leave it okay this is not an basis so click on the top over here and let's change the borders to white and then let's change this uh, thing over this black thing over here i don't know the name let's change it to um, this color here all right so right, right now we have our frame nicely designed over here like this so let's press on so press on the hot key to duplicate it like this let's press on it to duplicate it for the three images we wanted to work with okay so the next image we want to work with is geometrical so click on the geometrical image over here let me delete the image so let me rotate this frame this thing this icon over here is rotate so we'll just rotate it like this to uh, 180 degrees good 180 degrees like this okay and then let me bring the image again let's go background remover and then let's bring the image so when you place it like this, the image is going to rotate as well because i've rotated the frame so double click on the image and then rotate the image as well rotate the image as well here yeah. good so right now the image has been rotated nicely and then let me just remove the background here like this so let me double click on it and then drag it down so that the body shows well okay is it the same as the first one i did let me check yes it's the same it's the same and then not uh, the next one is messy background remover just drag the image into it like this and then double click to adjust the image well and then just leave it so right now I have my three images okay it's too small so I can just make it a little bit bigger like this here okay so our design is gradually taking shape all right so the next thing we wanted to do is to bring their names okay so what we have to do is just copy let me just ungroup it so that I'll just copy the names you can see the fonts I use the name of the font i use for the name is called canva student font okay good so i've been able to get all their names done right now here so the next thing we want to look at is to get this sponsor sponsors and then connect and then this facebook stuff over here okay so let me just copy this so i believe you are done with the design right this original work and then this is what we just made all right so when you are done with your design like this okay and you want to export it okay you go to share over here and then you click on download and then you change it to png okay select png if you are using the free version you won't be able to make it 100 percent but because i'm using the premium version i've been able to make it 100 percent then you just click on download and it's going to download into your PC for you, all right? So guys, we are done with the tutorial and I believe you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and have learned something great about it.